How's it going everyone? Zonabra here coming at you with another video. Today's video is going to be about three reasons why challengers are challengers. I thought it was a very interesting topic to explain you really what makes a challenger a challenger and like so successful in win rate and how they win game and how they learn from their mistakes. And I thought I'll give you three reasons why some challengers are where they are right now. So the number one reason for that is they have higher mechanical skills and game knowledge. I decided to put this on the number one point because it's overall what really consists the game and what League of Legends is about. Uh, having the right atomization, know what you do, know your strength, your weaknesses, know the enemy weaknesses and strength, know when to do, how to scale, how to team fight, how to do the wombo combos, all that stuff is into this. Runes, masteries, it's just the overall stuff that challengers do better than diamonds, platinums, etc, etc, like hit and run, all those little mechanics you know about League of Legends, like insect on, like they just do it better than anyone else. The second reason why challengers are challenger guys is that they learn fast from their mistake and they also play a lot of the game. One of the reasons challengers are so high low is that they play a lot of the games. I don't see a challenger that has like a hundred games this season at the end of the season. I really rarely see anything below five to six hundred games per season. One thing as well is that from what I see on stream, because I do watch a lot of streams of challenger players, is that they learn very fast from their mistakes. Out of a game, they always blame themselves for stuff that they did and stuff that happened in the game when they lost and even when they won. When they won the game, they're like, oh, I could have done that better. Well, I could have maybe worked on that later. And you guys, as you can see on my gameplay videos, at the end, I'm always trying to like brainstorm about my game and even in a win or a loss, I'm trying to tell you what I could have done better or what, what mistakes I did and I need to not do in the next game. So I really try to replicate that to have the same mindset as a challenger to eventually be there myself in maybe like next season or next next season. So this is very very important as a second point. Learning from your mistakes and never blaming others is almost correlated. Like by never blaming others for stuff, by never blaming others for feeding, for uh, pinging too much or for like talking too much in, on slash old chat, you just focus your mindset, your thoughts and your energy on yourself and you can literally become better by quickly fixing the little mistakes and the major issues you have with your gameplay and your game knowledge and every every game if you learn a little more or a little more you will just show progression you will not do the same mistakes over and over and again and once you go through the list of mistakes you do like it's just things that you can cross off the list and be like and move on to new and harder tasks and harder challenges uh, wherever you are right now in the in the elo ladder and the third point i wanted to make on why challengers are challenger is they punish mistakes very, very well and very fast. So hear me out. I thought it was the most interesting point I could really share with you guys because this is very, very, very important. I myself used to be a coach for challenger teams when I was in France. I used to, I used to, I have friends that are still challenger right now in the European servers. I watch a lot of streams. I watch a lot of YouTube videos about challenger gameplay because I just enjoy that. And I also watch LCS, LCK and all that stuff where pro gamers play. And one thing I notice is that when someone does a mistake, the enemy team will always punish it very, very hard and make you regret everything out of it. Like sometimes it's someone getting caught because there was a ward, anything, he gets caught, and the, and, and the team like loses like two turrets, one drake, uh, one inhibitor, like you're like, holy fuck, how did that happen? It's just that they're just so good at capitalizing on advantages, on opportunities that they have. Well, you, we catch the jungle, let's do Baron, then let's ward here, here, and here. Wait for the jungle to come back to his red buff, kill him, go back to... Like, they have organization and, like, I want to say, like, natural symbiosis between each other, synergy that makes them think better and makes them capitalize on opportunities like that way better. So... They, they have a good management of vision as well, they know what works and what doesn't, and they just understand the game, like, oh, the jungle might be top now because, well, she just did, she might have just finished her red buff that just popped like th 30 seconds earlier, so she might be here, I'm gonna ward there, and they all that, they all have that because of the number of games they play, and the muscle memory they have, and just the connection in their brain that makes them think all that, and... I thought it was very interesting. I feel like in bronze, in low elo, even in plat 3 where I am right now currently, uh, unfortunately I don't really have that much time to play to be honest, but when, once we catch someone, even once we get a good team fight where we win like maybe 3 to 1, 
I always regret not doing more. Like I really like I really wish we could get maybe a tier two turret at the mid lane, but people tend to be scared, they wanna back, they wanna spend their gold, and they don't really evaluate what is really happening with the death timers, when is when are they gonna come back, how much time is gonna take them to come back from the Nexus, what is at stake if we don't back fast enough, is the Baron up like I feel all this full process in early um uh, in like low elo is very like underestimated and it's really what builds up when you go to challenger when you go to challenger you get caught the game is over just like in pro gaming when you someone gets caught people capitalize on it get inhibitors and they just snowball snowballing is the term i was looking for this whole time i was talking challengers know how to snowball and they know how to snowball hard and make you never never come back they rarely do mistakes so it's always hard to catch an opportunity, so once a challenger player makes a mistake, they make sure they take it, they capitalize every energy they have on it, and they just build the biggest snowball ever to get the win. So here was three reasons why challengers are challenger. Let me just literally do a little quick recap before the video ends. So number one is overall better mechanics and game knowledge, such as like warding, mechanical skills like hit and run, doing insects with Lee Sin, and all that stuff. Everything counts. Like overall, like the mechanics and how you play the game, the vision control, the bearing control, smiting dragons, for example, all that, they just do it better. Two is they learn fast from their mistakes and they play a lot. They have time to play, they play a lot of games, at least 500 per season. I've rarely seen less than that. Uh, and they just never blame others. They always blame themselves for mistakes, for loss. They're always trying to win from lose games, from uh, wins and all that stuff. So it's very, very interesting to see how the thought process of a challenger is towards the game and how it's different from you if you guys aren't challenger. And three guys, they punish mistakes very, very hard and they know how to snowball and just to capitalize on mistakes. I hope this video was very helpful, guys. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment down below. I will make sure to answer them. And if I want to elaborate on your question, I might do a video about it. So please do not hesitate. There's no bad questions. I'm always here to help. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to join the Zona Squad by subscribing and liking this video will really help. It helps refer my videos to other youtube users so thank you so much for being here and taking the time to watch this video i'll see you for the next one guys peace okay it's rap pack to my pulse flat we keep it real no false rap i got four cars and they all black got four bras and they all that we call that ballin doing this is my calling flow is so appalling my phone off and she calling i'm like yeah what it do penthouse man what a view fall back as i'm coming through with my whole team they coming too that's real